the number one most requested video that you guys have been asking me to do ever since January turned is a update to my setup video. And by the way, I apologize if the audio quality is bad, it will get better here in a second. So here is my setup video. If you guys have any questions throughout this video, please go watch my question and answer video before you ask the question in the comments. If I don't answer it there, then go ahead and leave a comment on the question and answer video and I'll try to reply to you via comments or just make another video. If you guys are feeling really awesome, go ahead and watch my last setup video and then watch this one and you can see the changes. So questions throughout this video, go watch my question and answer video. If you're wondering where to get any of this stuff, go to michaelsbasementgear.com. I will try my best to have everything uh, that I've bought on that website. If I don't have it on there, let me know uh, via PM or comment or something, and I'll try to get back to you. My, my last video has like 1,500, 1,200 comments or something like that, so I might not get back to everybody, but I'll try. And if you're new to me and you're just finding me from this video, go ahead and check out my other videos. You might actually like them. But yeah, just one more time, if you guys have any questions, if you want to know how I afford all this stuff, uh, if you want to know why I prefer console over PC, which I do, if you want to know why I like Mac over PC, go watch my question and answer video. I have 110 respect for anybody who is a PC gamer or who doesn't like Mac. Everybody has different opinions, but I just hope that you guys feel the same way. So if you like PC, that's awesome. If you hate Mac, that's awesome but you don't need to freak out in the comments. Anyways, I'm done with my little intro, so let's go ahead and just start the tour that you guys have been requesting ever since it turned January. All right, so last year we started on that side, so let's go ahead and start on this side. I have made a few changes, as you guys can see. Uh, again, if you have any questions during the video, watch my question and answer uh, before you ask the questions. I explain how I afford everything. I explain why I prefer console over PC, but I do still play PC. And yeah, so let's just start right away. So I got a new chair. I'm not sure. I haven't watched my last gaming setup video, so I'm not sure uh, what's new. But I know that is new. I got that there. Uh, I got some stuff on the wall still. Now I am using my DSLR again, so uh, I apologize if it's out of focus. I'll try my best, but it is uh, it is manual focus. So yeah, go ahead and move this out of the way. Got an ottoman here, the little closable storage thingy. Um, Got all my games here. If you guys want to see like a gaming collection video, go ahead and let me know. Maybe I'll post one. Case for, uh, I believe that holds the Xbox and the PS3. Both of them, I think. I'm not sure. And then here's all the uh, consoles. So you got the Xbox 60 Slim, Apple TV, and Turtle Beach X32 receiver, the Wii U, Max Payne just chilling there, PlayStation 3. And then, uh, and there we got some more things. I'm not going to go through all of it because I'm going to try to keep this video not 20 minutes like the last one was. Uh, but there's all that stuff. And then here's the PC. I'll go ahead and actually cut to a clip now of me showing it. All right, so this is the best angle I could get. I apologize if it's bad. So let's just start off uh, just by going over everything. The build cost, I believe, was one to or one thousand to twelve hundred dollars. Uh, I'm not completely sure. I didn't. I didn't ever end up adding it up. But anyways, enough talking. This video is probably long enough. 600 watt power supply. I do plan on upgrading a few things later on, but I obviously have a car to pay for and other things. On um, all my games, I'd rather have those. <laughs> and then oh, we have a network card here, just for wireless. Uh, Radeon 770, uh, right there. I do have a stock in, uh, Intel CPU cooler because it's not overclocked, and there's really no reason not to have one other if it, unless it's overclocked. I believe it's i5 3.4 or 3.2 gigahertz. Maybe it's only 3.1. I'm not completely sure. And then uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM here. It's only 1300 megahertz, so it's kind of slow. Uh, but again, I plan on upgrading later. LED fan right here. And then stock fan with the case right here. It doesn't light up. LED fan over here. And then uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive. And then SSD right here. 64 gigabyte SSD, which just has Windows installed it to launch fast. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. I do have a gigabit uh, motherboard. I don't remember the exact uh, name of it. I think it's the Z77D3H. Not completely sure. I think that's what it is, though. 7770 graphics card, like I said, 1600, 1300 megs RAM, uh, 3.1 gigahertz. I'm, I'm thinking to go with 3.1 gigahertz uh, i5 CPU. And then uh, this is a stock fan, 600 watts, uh, a hard drive for all my games and stuff, and then the SSD. Uh, not not very fancy, but then again, this is exactly pretty much what I wanted, and uh, maybe later on in life I will plan on upgrading. My case was actually one of the most expensive things, but one of the reasons is because I wanted this case really badly, and one of the reasons why is because 
it has this little window here and has these quick release uh, buttons right there. I'm not really sure what this case was called. I forget if you asked me, asked me, asked me is now a word. If you asked me like four months ago, I would have known because that's when I was building the computer, but it is Corsair and yeah. Yeah, so that's the PC. Uh, I know I could have uh, saved money by getting a cheaper case and getting a better video card instead of spending so much money on the case, but that is what I wanted and that is what I got. I still got the boxes. I got the boxes because I like the way it looks and it increases the resale value. If you guys don't like keeping your boxes, go ahead and throw them away. And if you do like keeping them, cool, me too. Got some more games over here. Yes, I've been filling it up so much that uh, I actually have to move it over here. I've actually sold a few games and then gotten new ones. And I also f sold a few of my tech things, like some tablets and stuff. Here's some more drawers and some things on top of it. Not sure why you guys like these videos so much. It's just me showing everything off. Oh, some more posters up here. Call of Duty. I have took the Modern Warfare ones down because... I still prefer Treyarch over Infinity Ward, so I like Black Ops better. And then uh, these posters don't fit. You guys can see me there. Uh, there's the Luigi Mansion, Dark Moon, and Grand Theft Auto V. Obviously, you can tell that one. Maybe not that one, at least. Um, but I'm going to get new poster frames for those. And uh, if any time, again, during this video, if you guys want to know where I get anything, I'll have most of my things on that uh, michaelsbasementgear.com link. And if I don't have those things, go ahead and let me know. Send me a PM or something. I'll try to answer you. Got a whole bunch of freaking remotes here. So stupid. Got an Apple TV remote, one for the Xbox, one for, uh, what is this, my HD receiver, and then one for the TV. So stupid. I hate having all those remotes. And we got... An alarm clock and charger and those things. I should take those down. I don't care about those. Again, I don't know why you guys like these videos so much, but you know, this is what it is. More crap down there. Um, still got uh, the popcorn maker. You got the Assassin's Creed 3 flag. You got uh, Halo 4 framed in a Game, Infor a Game Informer Halo 4 magazine framed because I thought that looked cool and I actually ended up getting two copies of it for some reason. And then, here's actually, we'll take a look at this. I do like to get game guides for games that I really like. I don't really even use them, to be honest. And I know the internet is the ultimate game guide. But I just, you know, I just wanted them because I'm a nerd. And then we got all my things there. I did pay for all those, and I explained that in my video. The only thing that's not mine there is the iPad Mini, and that's actually my mom's. And then, time capsule, Apple TV box. Zoom out here, you can see my printer. Here's some uh, boxes of some cases I need to review. Uh, cable that came with one of the cases I need to review. You guys will actually get a sneak peek at those cases. Oh yeah, I moved the uh, treadmill. It used to be over there. I moved it right here because now you can see I can just watch my computer right there. And I got all that stuff just laying on the ground. But yeah, I moved the treadmill to, uh, to be right in front of the uh, iMac. I also uh, keep some... Just some headphones like right in this little uh, coaster right there because then actually I'll show you guys this is kind of cool I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, iPad actually real quick I'll show you guys what oh, I was just checking my email on here I'll show you guys what this treadmill has and this is cool because the iPad wasn't even out when this was invented but I can go like this and boom and then I can just plug my headphones into here and listen to it or I can uh, if my mom's not home I can just turn up the volume and listen to something over there and then uh, you can see my desk is still pretty much the same. I haven't really moved it too much. I got the PSV down there now. I'm not sure if that was in there. Magazines right there. I would pull down even more, but then you guys would see my address. So I'm just going to keep it like that. And then here are some of the cases I need to review. This is actually a clear one. This is like a magnet one from Case Crown. And then uh, this one, check that out. It's got a keyboard. And then we got the fifth generation Apple Touch. I actually won this. Uh, go ahead, and if you want to know how I won that, go ahead and search like Apple Touch unboxing on my channel. Still got the head massager. A lot of you guys made some few comments about that, how you guys had one. They're pretty awesome. If you want to get one, I'll definitely have a link to that, hopefully, at michaelsbasementgear.com. This is outdated. I just realized that that's outdated. That was from Club Nintendo last year, and then uh, the, that poster was actually from Club Nintendo 2, the Luigi's Mansion one. And then it came with a few other posters, but I don't really have room to put them up, and I don't know if I want to. Uh, so where, where did I leave off? Okay, yeah, so still got the post notes, still got twist ties here, and uh, no cards. Got the Nexus 7 on a stand. There's my uh, iPhone there, picture of my car, iPad. Uh, so here's Connor from Assassin's Creed. 
got this little guy and this little guy and then uh, a monitor sometimes uh, what we'll do here you guys can see I have a whole bunch of monitors here this one displays my computer yes I have a long HDMI cable running all the way to here so that I can sit here and play and then if I want I can hook it up to the t uh, to the TV which I don't really like hooking up to the TV because I have a wired keyboard and stuff and it's just a hassle but yeah that's where the PC uh, goes this is where the iMac goes and I'm actually editing my video right now hey check that out and see my question and answer video look at my face oh yeah <laughs> anyways and then this is uh, I also use a second monitor and also we connect that Xbox that doesn't really work that well because it has a broken disc tray uh, but sometimes it works works for like 15 minutes um, and then my friends can play there while I'm over there and then we got two Xboxes it's awesome no split screen um, I still got I got new speakers actually from last video I made a review of those if you want to go see them go ahead and just search cyber acoustics on my channel and you can watch the review uh, Sony XBM 500 I believe I'm not completely sure it's the one that have a lot of bass because I like bass I'm a bass head I guess you could say and I don't know here's uh I still got two keyboards and I uh, check it out I got a different mouse you guys yelled at me for having a magic mouse you got the different mouse and I still got the magic trackpad and then uh here is the, the second speaker. It's also got a subwoofer uh, down there, garbage can notes, and then some more drawers with tons of cables. If you guys want to know why there's a hole in my wall, go watch the question and answer video. <laughs> a lot of comments on that in my last setup video too. Here's the keyboard, the Logitech G1110, or yeah, 1110, or 110, G110, whatever. And then the Razer Abyss, I believe, is my mouse. I got the Halo Reach Sashu. The Nintendo 3DS XL, and then my monitor, and that's pretty much everything. We're gonna go look over there and go look at my room real quick too. Uh, but you guys, you know, you can see all my stuff here. I'll also go ahead and open up Steam real quick, and uh, you can show you guys my game library list in Steam. I do. I'm a big fan of Lamborghini Aventador. That'd probably be like my dream car. It's the Lamborghini Aventador, which is the new one, new models that Lamborghini made. All right, so let's just go ahead and go to library, and you guys can see. Oh my games here. I have some games for Xbox too that are also on PC that were just on sale or that I got from friends for free. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, my Steam library. All right, yeah, and then we just got a crappy little wooden chair there, and then I got I've actually gotten a new chair since uh, last setup video. You guys can see I just got that chair actually, and then I got I didn't show this. Got some cash here. You guys know what that's for, right? Food. And then here's more magazines of gaming magazines because I'm a nerd. And then we got uh, down here, just got a little car wash thing for uh, my car. Check it out. It gets caught in my car on there, right there. If you guys want to know why I own that car, go ahead and watch my uh, question and answer video too. Posters right there. And we're kind of getting along. Storage room. This is where I walked in. If you saw my question and answer video, I walked all the way here. And then walked and showed you guys why there's a hole in the wall. Uh, laundry room, we're not going to go in there. Here's where I film all my videos. You guys can see I have my blue snowball microphone right there. Usually that is down here. Or it's over there. And it's connected to the computer, obviously. And then I just sync up the audio. And I just have a long USB cable so that I can use it uh, while I'm over here, too. But I got a five, four lights. Uh, two on each side and then two on the top. And then I, you guys always ask me how I get... Like, you you guys said that I tape my camera to my head. No, I've uh, mounted a tripod on the top so you can get the bird's eye view, I guess. And then I have another tripod down here. And then it's all connected to that power cord down there. And then here's the, a case for the, uh, the lighting kit. And I actually put uh, these pillows here uh, when I'm not filming because my cat likes to jump up here. And that's why there's a blanket up there. And... Uh, Put these here because I don't want it to hurt her legs when she gets down because she's a bigger cat and she's she's fat so I don't want her to get hurt by because of how much she weighs. And then up here, modem and Apple time capsule, which I use just to back up all my files. And then I feel like I forgot something over here. I guess not. Those storage just have more storage. Down here we've got uh, two things I'm selling: Dead Island Riptide uh, Steelbook case and Xbox 60 Elite got a hockey stick here for when I go outdoor skating. Uh, this is X20, Vapor X20 if you know anything about hockey. Uh, not not very good uh, compared to the new hockey sticks nowadays. I am going to go in here. This is my bathroom. The only thing in here that I'm going to show you because it's a bathroom is uh, this. I have so much stuff that I actually have to put this in here because this is where my dresser is. And then 
yeah, that is my bathroom. You guys want to see my sink? There it is. Awesome, isn't it? So why are these here? This one I'll actually answer. This wasn't in my question and answer video. I knew I was going to forget something. Uh, these are actually summer tires, or yeah, summer tires for my car. My car's rear wheel drive. If you try to drive a rear wheel drive car in winter, I'm going to laugh at you because you're not going to go anywhere. So you have to get winter tires. Paid for those too, by the way. I do pay for, like I said, my question and answer video. Most of my stuff. The only thing I don't pay for, go watch my question and answer video and you'll find out. So now let's go in my room. Still got the fish tank. I actually think what I'm going to do is sell that tank and get a smaller one because it's kind of pain in the ass to take care of. Bed, all this stuff. And then uh, my mom's MacBook Pro right here. I was just using it just to lay in bed because, you know, it's nice to uh, lay in bed and use a laptop, but you can't really do that with a big iMac. And then my lighting system sucks up here. I have two lights, even though there's three. So let me go ahead and just turn this here. Okay, so, and then you can see my iHome there. And then I have some books and picture my grandpa, who is now deceased, unfortunately. Uh, go ahead and make your tissue jokes in the comments, but therefore blowing your nose. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then here is some of my books. I have, of course, a Steve Jobs book. I really do like the Hunger Games. And again, if you guys want to call me gay for liking that or make, make the tissue jokes, go ahead and do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what those are there. And then I got that plane at an air show. I actually got this old iBook G4, powered Mac G4 or something like that. But it just says iBook right there uh, for free for my computer teacher. It doesn't work that well. You guys can see it's not even closing right now and it's got a bad battery. Excuse me though, by the way, I have to like, I have the hiccups right now, so I'm trying not to hiccup. Anyways, that's not closing. I'm going to figure out why that's not closing. Anyways, okay, and then we have Newton's Cradle here, Kindle uh, Paperwhite, which I never did a review. I always, I was going to do a review on the iPad mini my Sony XBM 500s and the Kindle Paperwhite, and I just forgot. I gotta try to remember to do things. Um, try to. I gotta try to remember to do some videos. That's what I'm trying to say. God, I'm talking so fast. I'm forgetting what I'm saying. Here, I do love Mountain Dew, and go ahead and call me weird, whatever you guys want. I've been called everything pretty much in my last in the comments on my last set of videos, so you can't really top much. Uh, but here, it's just a collection of some cans of Mountain Dew. And then I got a bowl of Clappy Trap right there. And this is when uh, I got badges for getting, uh, I got two shutouts in a state tournament. We played three games and two of the games I got shutouts in. I was a goalie when I was in hockey. Um, and I got badges for them as a reward, I guess. And then we got, we got some uh, statues of some things, some bells. I like to click bells. Again, call me whatever you want. Gay, weird, faggot, whatever you want. I've been called it before. My news was right there, closet. You guys wanted to see it, so you're seeing it. If it's boring, you can leave any time. And I got more boxes here. Ugh. Focus. More boxes. And we got my... This is kind of what my computer boxes are. Some of those I do want to throw away. I've just been really freaking busy lately. I know you guys probably don't think it, but... Switching schools, getting a new job, and... Even just getting a new car has been a lot lately. And I've been more so stressed than busy. But, anyways... That is pretty much my room tour for 2013, beginning of 2013 at least. Um, if you guys have any questions, go to my question and answer video and watch that. And then, if I didn't answer your question, leave the question in the comments and I'll try to do another question and answer video. But otherwise, that's my gaming setup for 2013. Uh, I don't know, I guess that's it. So yep, that is everything I have. That's my gaming setup, room tour, desk tour, whatever you want to call it, for the beginning of 2013. Uh, if you guys want an update to this video already, you're going to have to wait. Bug me in uh, July. If in, in July of summer, if I don't have an updated uh, video up yet, then you can go ahead and bug me. But if not, don't ask me for it because I'm not doing them for a while. I didn't go as detailed. I didn't give my opinions on as many things this time because... It's got yellow in the comments last time, but hopefully that was still okay with you guys. You still got to see everything I had. If you saw something that was cool and it's not on michaelsbasementgear.com, let me know. If you have a question I didn't answer it on my question and answer video, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and check out my other videos. And if you like and subscribe, if you don't like them, well, thanks for watching this video. And uh, be sure to thumbs up, favorite, and share with your friends. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys in my next video.